Hello friends and enemies, it has been a hot minute since my last video, so welcome back! <sighs> it's been a long series, hasn't it? It has, it has, it really has. But we're not at the end yet! We are at the penultimate video, and today I'm wearing my definite old man red day-to-day -day outfit. Uh, we are going to be doing the one and only Davina De Campo. Oh, and we know I love her with all of my heart. She helped me out so much in the sewing challenge. She's been really, really kind. She's really sweet. But you know what? It's just a bit lazy, is this for me? I love it's a bit lazy, is this for me? It's a bit lazy. Because I've been watching her videos and she's been a shady little queen. So I'm going to do something really, really nice for Davina because I know that she's had a problem with her makeup being really ashy. So today I'll be doing a very authentic Davina De Campo face. And to do that, I've started off by covering my brows already. I'm wearing contacts. I've got like hazel eyes, she has hazel eyes. So let's start with a little bit of foundation and I'm going to do most of this with a clown white. So I'm going to get this clown white, delicately go over my brows, just with a bit, a little more clown white, <laughs> on my other brow. And to do a look which is true to Davina, I'm going to do a little more white foundation all over my face. Because how can you look like an old antique if you're not in grayscale? <laughs> So today, I am going to be doing a full grayscale face inspired by Davina De Campo's natural makeup look. So let's just do a little bit of white. <laughs> you see, I do call her Old Man Davina. <laughs> but the thing is, Davina isn't actually that old. Davina's only like mid-30s. Technically, she's only a few months older than Crystal. Or Crystal has found the fountain of youth. We don't know. We'll have to see how the years take their hold on the two. Yeah, I think the age you go, uh, Davina's the oldest, and then Crystal, well, like, a few months after. After that is Vinegar, who's the same age as Crystal. After Vinegar is me. I think Vinegar's, like, two years older than me. And then, I think it's Bagger, then Vivian, then Cheryl. Then, obviously, Gothy and Scaredy are, like, 12 years old. And I think Blue is 12 years old as well. Uh, yeah, I think so. But let's carry on doing this wide face, shall we? <laughs> I can't do this without going all the way down my neck. So I will be doing that as well. And my ears. Gross. Oh, Davina's face is going to look so beautiful when I'm done. Watch my neck wobble. I can't wait to show Davina this later. What wig and what hair am I going to wear, do you say? Red wig and a silver dress? I don't think. <laughs> Oh, she's iconic. I love her so much. She is so kind and she will help out whenever she can because I think we're all the same to be fair. We're very like normal, like normal-ish. Oh my God, I saw myself in the viewfinder and I look ridiculous. Okay, 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 right. That was me scratching my nose ugh, with a sponge. I guess now I'm gonna set it. I want this to look pretty, but this is just the base, so we're just starting. Don't worry, I will be beautiful. <laughs> and that's the to Campo's face, done. Oh my god, I have white powder all over my shorts now. So first of all, I'm going to sculpt out Davina De Campo's brow. i got a lovely picture of Davina right here. She does look very stunning. So I'm going to do a similar brow to that. Ugh. So I'm going to go in with my eyeliner on my little angle brush. And I'm just going to draw in where I think her brow is going to be. So luckily, I'm going to use some of my actual brow. to mark out where it starts. Cause you've got like a quite a bushy like beginning of the brow and then it goes up to like there. Cool, I think that's Davina's brow. So I'm just gonna blend that out just a slight bit and make it a bit thicker. She's not one of these girls that has like a real defined point at the end of her brow, but I'm gonna do it cause it looks pretty. And then lift at the top of it more as well. Oh yeah, that's one brow on. Very pretty, very pretty for Davina. <laughs> In the workroom, it's really weird because whenever we do our makeup, when I do my makeup, I always sing. And Davina also sings as well. And the problem is if we're in the workroom, we can't sing songs that people have written cause of copyright. So Davina's is like, just like operating operating her own songs just whenever we're like chilling out in the workroom it's ridiculous and all we could hear is like a wailing like a banshee and uh, i kind of miss that <laughs> So if you ever get the opportunity to get ready with Davina, you'll know that she does like to sing. Bearing in mind she can sing in four and a half octaves. When she sings in the changing room, she sings in the highest octave she can. 
<laughs> so now onto the other brow. I'd love to paint Davina's face because she has such like a long horse face, like Celine Dion. I don't have like that on my face, like also it's a lot of fat. But yeah, she has like really good bone structure and stuff, so I'd really love to paint her. I think Blue's painted her. Blue made her look stunning, very Davina still. Um, I would love the chance to do so as well. Like maybe I'm the makeup girl of season one now, maybe. It's still, it's it, it's still blue, but maybe I'm there as well. <sighs> Those are Davina's brows on the angry, bushy bastards that they are. Let's clean up the line underneath the brow with now my, oh god, I so have a very clean pan white, but then I just pour red all over it. And that is that brow done. So now I'm gonna go in and start doing the eyes, which is my favorite part, always. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a little chick, actually. So I'm basing a lot of this on when I did my first grayscale face, which is actually the first time I ever did it, was on Drag Race. So I'm surprised it turned out as well as it did. But I actually used a little trick. I didn't use gray for a lot of things. I actually used uh, grays, purples, and like light blues to make it look like gray. So I'm gonna do the same this time because I don't have that many grays. So I'm gonna start off with the grays that I do have and then blend it in and out and try and keep it in that gray scale look. All right, let's start this cut crease. She starts really close to the brow and it actually almost like comes into the nose. So I'm gonna go from like in here out to there in like a curve. So let's go in from the brow. And don't worry, if it looks bad, it just looks bad. Now she has one of those eyes. It kind of starts at the brow and goes all the way up and around to the horizon. I'm gonna blend out the edges with a little bit of this pale color here. So it still looks like I'm using gray, but I'm not, it's actually blue. Very Davina, very perfect, very stunning. Yes, I want to look like a Victorian ghost. If Davina was haunting you or her ghost, you'd just hear her cackle like, hee -hee 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 -hee, just down the corridor when you're running away. That's definitely the last sound I want to hear before I die. <laughs> Okay, now that I have done that, define that inner cut crease. But like Davina's old school drag. She's old, she's old, and she's old school drag. Well, they love, they love their big cut crease and drag in the UK drag, do you know what I mean? See, that's a Davina cut crease, do you know what I mean? That's, that is it. I would have loved to have been there in the workroom when that fight kicked off because I imagine after the cameras go down, the tension must have been so thick and everyone's just stood, sat there, not talking to each other, but looking at each other like this. Would have loved it. But ah oh well, it wasn't for me. Oh my God, nearly wasn't for Vivian too because she was in the bottom two against Crystal. I just thought that. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna set that white and then go in and really define that inner line. You know what I'm doing. I've done this a lot now. I should have gone in with eyeliner, but I feel like I can define it more if I use a black brush. And if you're doing a whole grayscale face, you really don't want fallout on the white because <laughs> it'll ruin everything. And now I'm gonna do the bottom line of that. Let's go in with some liner and let's finish off this eye for sure. Oh, I'm gonna put this back on because it's a bit cold. <laughs> I feel like Davina in the God Shave the Queen's documentary. It's like, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so let's go in and finish the bottom of this eye and just finish this off. I'm going with this trusty brush here with some black on the corner. Because Davina has like a really like aggressive outside, like like aggressive eyebrow bone. I want to like recreate that, having that real droop on the inside before it comes back up again. Because my face is flat, so I need to like use these kind of techniques to kind of make it look like that. You, you think like, why is she ever so shady today? And I'm like, I'm not. I just watched the video where Davina was cussing me out. I don't know if lazy is the word. I think it's just the. I think it's just the. I think it's just the. So I was like. <laughs> so this is just a homage. I'm being nice. This is not me being mean. But I did message Davina earlier on and I was like, have you got any tips before I like do it? And she was just like, honestly, just put your makeup on the table, smash your face in it. So she knows it is an inside joke. Like, <laughs> this is how we are in the UK. We're just horrible to each other. <laughs> But it's all in love. Many a time I picked up the phone to Davina when I've needed help, when I've just needed someone to like chat to, when I needed someone just to like tell you I'm worried about this, I'm doing this, I'm scared about this. And she'd do the same, like we're all human. So it's really nice to have someone I can actually confide in. And I feel like that is definitely Davina. You saw it on the show. But she is shady the house damn boots when she is. Cool. 
That is one eye nearly done. I will do the eyeliner on it first, make it look a little pretty, and let's see how this together. So far, like, like this is cute. I may have a completely grey face, which is hilarious. You see, you see, this will be the best ashy Davina face you've ever seen. Right, let's quickly go in some eyeliner. And that is one eye done for DDC. But yes, remember, uh, she does have a load of incredible music as well. She has released her album. Do download it if you haven't already. Please listen to it on Spotify. Apple Music too. She's working hard. Like, Realty, Drag Race Song wasn't my favourite on the album, but Gratify, the one that she's just released, is the bop. I love it. I love it. I love this drink. So that is one Davina DeCampo eye done. I just kicked over a whole glass of water. That's really annoying. Oh, well, it'll just seep into the carpet. Anyway, uh, I was just about doing the second eye, but I've realised as I was doing this, I think that cut crease goes a bit low. I think it comes a bit higher on Davina. So let me just amend that now. Like, I started off doing this face. I was just like, she was so mean to me in that video. And the hairband on the wrist. Oh. <laughs> no rings. No nails. Like, this is not it. This is not it. No rings. No nails. No rings. No nails. No rings. No nails. So I'm the, still trying to do this as pretty as I possibly can. Well, I'm gonna finish this off and we'll see how this looks in a mo. Ooh, ooh, and that is the other eye on. I think they're actually quite stunning. I think they're very drag. This is like classic drag. I say this is the most drag I've felt in all of these looks so far. So now to carry on with the theme of the oldest queen of season one from RuPaul's Drag Race UK, I'm gonna go in and carve out my face. So normally I would use browns, I'd use reds, blush to lighten up the face what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blue it up so for the contours i'm gonna go in and start off lightly with some gray just to bring some structure into the face but yes if you watch god shave the queens you'll notice on her first tour davina did have a chest infection where she was hocking up phlegm the whole way through it's really weird to watch now during this whole like weird time because you just watch her coughing around everyone and we really should have been like babe wear a mask uh i actually ended up getting it on the tour there was one point in the tour where i actually had no voice left and that was because davina gave me her chest infection we didn't kiss or anything our beds were literally next to each other and the air conditioning on on the bus just literally did this so obviously all of her germs had just swung their way into my bed so i also got ill so thanks davina sharing is caring considering it's nearly halloween if you want to go out as old man davina for halloween just follow this tutorial it's the wrong timing of taking a photo well it's not it for me come on come on represent like legitimately davina's only like three years older than me <laughs> I'm spending a lot more time on the powdering stage because I didn't have any grey foundation. Obviously, I have to go white and then on top of that with as much grey as possible. This is me filling in for the normal base colour that I'd normally do. So that's what it looks like I'm doing it absolutely everywhere. But what I will do is with the grey, I'm going to get that real angular point that she has on her nose here. There we go. A triangle just at the top because it makes her nose almost look like cartoonish. Highlight time. Ugh, okay, stunning. This is beautiful. There we go. That is the end of that highlight section. I think this is stunning. I feel like an old lady. I feel like a sexy old lady. I feel like I feel like a Hollywood starlet. I'm gonna do a lip, and the closest thing I have to like a grey nude is this like purpley like stone colour. There we go. I think. No, that is very a Davina shape. Yes, okay. And to keep that in line with all of the grey we have everywhere else, I'm gonna go back in and fill the sides of it with grey. It's kind of grey already, so... There you go, so that is my greyed lip. And I'm gonna do an old classic drag trick. Bit of clown white and just do it over the top. And that is my lip done. Okay, I'm going to quickly put on a lash from the incredible people at What A Drag. And there we go! Oh! You know what? This is really beautiful and I really, really like this. So well, let's see how this looks together with a red wig and a silver dress, shall we? <laughs> let's see how that looks like now. Red wig and a silver dress, I do think. So this is the final look! Yo, like, I don't mean to take the piss or anything, but you can't handle this. 
Oh, this is stunning! And I do kind of feel like Davina. I don't think she'd do this like particular look, but you know what? Girl, uh, Davina, honey, I think you should go grayscale. You wouldn't get called ashy ever again. I think this is beautiful. And just like the pop of color on the red and everything else is white. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give Davina a little call and see what she thinks. Red wig and a silver dress? <laughs> yes, it is. Say hello to the camera. I know you got your mask on and everything. Hello to the camera. <laughs> Wow. Staying safe. I decided, you know what, because everyone was like, her makeup's so ashy, like it's so grey. I was like, I'm just gonna do a full face in grey. I just keep like the, nice. the wig on. But what do you think? I'm wearing jewellery just for you. Yeah, as you should. I saw the video of you and you are. That's why I've, 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 I've made a couple of comments in this one. That's <laughs> But no, this is you, like, your face is, like, so stunning to do. I hope you like it. I think you should do grayscale. Like, and just the pop yeah. of colour on the red. I think it's stunning. Yeah, I should do one day. That is what I will do. I will do all grey. All grey, everything, apart from the red wig. <laughs> You're all good. <laughs> oh no, that's really cute though. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a little call, see what you think. Give me all of your like, you and you are's shady comments. Come on, hit me, hit it's, me, what's wrong? Uh, it's not matte enough. <laughs> like, it's, to be it's, much it's not matte enough, you're meant to be dustier. You're, you're clearly <laughs> not wearing anything from the waist down. <laughs> Oh, I love you so much. But before you go, I just want to ask you, have you got anything super exciting coming up so I can let people know? Yes, I am working on Christmas music right now. Oh, that's amazing! And that will be out just before Christmas, I assume. Yeah, the, the last couple of weeks in November, uh, I'll be gearing up for it. Oh my God, I can't wait! Yay! More music from Davina! Remember to go download everything. Don't stream it. Download it. Download it and pay for it. It gets better download. for us. Come on, my old lady. <laughs> download it. Uh, but no, thank you so much for doing it. I'll let you get on with your day, but this is really, really fun. And I'll see you really soon. Anyway, love you loads. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs> love you. What? Love you, bye. Bye. And that was the one and only Davina DeCampo red wig silver dress I don't think herself. And I think she gave this a little thumbs up. Like, I, I know I was like making fun, but like there's something about this monochrome look with just a pop of color, which I find absolutely stunning. stunning. I wish I had done something like this on Drag Race, but you know what, there's always all stars. <laughs> I think this is beautiful. I think you should never wear a synthetic wig while you're wearing sequins because you may not be able to see the back, but this is all matted now. And like, oh, I'm probably... I might just look again. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I can't run my hands through this too much because this hair is honestly going to mat into all of these sequins and eventually I'll have a red wig and a silver dress all in one. Thank you. <laughs> So like I've said before, oh, thank you so much for staying up to date with all of my videos. This series has been really, 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 really fun. Uh, I've really liked recreating my sisters. I've really liked seeing what they've been up to. But remember, do go follow Divina DeCampo on all of her socials because she's up to some incredible things. And like I have said before, us season one girls are going to take over the world. Yes! Oh, we're gonna take over your Spotify, your Apple Music. We're gonna win second single coming soon. Like again, I think this is really, really beautiful. Uh, I feel so good in this. Like this is so, ah, I, I, I can't like, Mmm, ugh, like, who needs colour when the only colour you have is your hair? Like, this is great, like, like, I, I, mmm, I, 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 It's just the extreme pop of colour against everything else which is black and white just makes this stand out so much more. I, I absolutely love this look, I think it's beautiful, I can't wait to do this on Davina! Although, I did try to do Davina, I do look a lot like India Farah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like I said, please do hit that notification bell to know when my next videos are going to Please do smash that subscribe button because I only have one more of these videos on my season one sisters So I wonder who it'll be Hmm, maybe the winner herself I guess I've known Davina for 10 years and all I've known is a red wig and a silver dress oh! Oh! <laughs> But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video I love you loads and I can't wait to see you in the next one But until then, love you long time Mwah.